I'm in my Airbnb here and just wanted to make a really quick video on how to land clients between two to three grand, higher ticket clients as a new copywriter. And it's pretty simple. Step one is literally just going to be building that network because you have to get into the space where these high paying clients are. These are clients that are probably generating 20, 30, 40K minimum in their business if they're going to be paying you two to three K. And so you need to get into the spaces where those people are. And those spaces are going to be networking groups. They're going to be masterminds. Those types of environments, conferences, those are the places that I spent a lot of time just building my own personal network and getting around people that are making way more money than me. Because when you get around people like that, you just start to pick up on the things that they do, the subtle you know, behavioral differences, the way they communicate, the way they think. And so that's step number one, get into the places where they are. Step number two, actually have an offer, have something that they need, that every business needs. So for me, that was copywriting. There's also things like marketing, sales, um, like different kinds of softwares and stuff. Like every business needs those people, people that can get their product in front of the client. So think about those skills that are going to help drive more sales to them. And those are the kind of skills that they'd be willing to pay high ticket for. Okay, so that's step number one, get into the environment. Step number two, build that that skill set, build that thing. And it doesn't have to take long. It took me like literally a couple months between learning what copywriting was to making 10 grand a month and getting clients that were paying over two grand a month. And so that's step one and two. And then the part that's really gonna turn those that, those two tangible steps into money is an intangible skill set of the ability to network, the ability to make people like you. Because people are not going to work with someone most of the time charging two or three grand if they don't like their personality. And so if you're going into these networking environments and you're just like really sales and you're really just like trying to push your product, like you're not going to be getting results. So this is what you wanna do. You wanna get into conversations with these people and ask genuine questions. For me, like I'm always curious about how people got started in business and if they had support, if they like struggled, if they had failed businesses, like these are questions that I'm like actually curious about. So when I go to networking meetings, it's obvious that I'm there to learn. It's obvious that I'm like curious and people love to talk about themselves. So if you can just spend the entire conversation talking about their story, their journey, their business, their problems, their hopes and dreams, at the end of the conversation, there's like this law of reciprocity that kind of takes place where people are going to want to know what you do. And then when you have something that you do, that's I, and you're able to tie it into something that they need, which you're going to be able to do because you just spent the whole conversation talking about their needs. So now you present what you do in such a way that in their mind, they're gonna be like, oh my God, this person, number one, understands my problem. Number two, I think they have the solution. And now you have a lot of leverage there. And so you wanna, like, for example, if you spend the entire conversation talking about like, let's say this person has a clothing business and they're struggling to build a social media platform and they're really like working, like they have sales coming through, but they're really working on like building that brand presence. They don't know how to do it. They have an email list, but they're not using it. Like those are some things I would identify. And then when they ask me what I do, I'd be like, oh, well, I actually, I write scripts. I, you know, I have a lot of fun just writing emails and I'm a copywriter. So I get to basically just take people's products and put it in front of their audience and convince the audience why they should buy it. And so I get to, you know, I get to have a lot of fun with what I do. And that would literally be all I said. And then they would, they would pitch to me. That's usually how it happens. And it's just because I genuinely found a need and I didn't pitch them on a service. I just bonded with them. I just, you know, spent that that whole conversation building rapport and really establishing whether it would work to partner up because you don't want clients that are going to be a headache. I had to fire a client of mine recently and I'm going to make a different video about that. But if clients are taking all of your time and they're constantly needing revisions, they're constantly needing their hand health, it's probably going to lose you more money than it's going to gain you because there's so much time you could be spending just getting clients that actually know what they want and actually know how to work with you. So those are the main phases. There's one more, but step one is get into the rooms where these people are. I named the places, conferences, masterminds, also online groups. Online masterminds have been one of the best ways by far for me to get clients. Like I can't even tell you how powerful that is. School.com is the main one I use, um, but you can use Facebook groups. There's a lot of different ways you can network online, Instagram too. Um, so that's that's step one. Step two, build that skill set. You want to actually start building the network before you have the skill set because it takes time to build those relationships with people. So you want to already have the relationship built and then you start building a skill set. Don't, don't like study a bunch and try to like get everything perfect. Like you're never going to be perfect. If you wait until you feel ready, the saying goes, you, you're never going to start. So those are the two, first two steps. The third step is actually how to master those conversations and build that rapport. 
And then like your pitch, like you may actually have a pitch where after you've built like a little bit of a relationship with these people, you get their email or their Instagram, you want to get on a call with them. And if they talk about how much they need your services or how great that sounds, like, yeah, you know, I would love to see if I can help you in your specific goals. Why don't we set up a call after this meeting or after this mastermind or whatever? And then you get on an actual call and that's where you're going to use like your, your actual pitch and you're going to actually explain what you do and how you can help them and have a monetary amount associated with that and probably book them into a sales call from there. But those are the main steps to get started. Like you really just want to be building a network. And this is such a hack. Having a podcast helped me so much because when you spend an hour hearing someone's story and bonding with them and like learning about what worked for them, what didn't, you are you have such a strong foundation in your relationship to then go and tell them about what you do and they're going to want to support you like a friend wants to support you like but they also have the business credibility so it's just it works out so well so if you start a podcast solely for getting clients i think that's a great idea i think every business should have a podcast and it's a great way to network it's super organic you'll learn a lot like if you watch my podcasts i'm genuinely curious about every single question i ask so that's a major hack. Hopefully this was helpful. If you guys want more help networking, getting into some of those rooms, those masterminds, those private groups, just jump on a call in the description below. I'm happy to help connect you however I can or strategize and game plan with you. But hopefully this video helped and I will see you guys soon.